What's, What's good, y'all? My name is William. And I'm Alexa. And we're the Gonzalez family. Welcome back to our channel, guys. Um, today, we're going to be talking about my pregnancy. Um, it's coming to an end. Um, today, I'm 38 weeks and 4 days. And I just had a doctor's appointment today. So, we're just going to talk about what news we got updated with and how labor is coming along. So, at my last doctor's appointment, my doctor mentioned that I could get my membrane swept. Like, Something like that. Like, it's called like a membrane sweep. So, basically like, um, they just check your cervix and if you're dilated, then you can do this. But if you're not dilated, you can't. So, I, um, I wanted to get it done this time. But when I went in for my appointment today, she touched my stomach and everything. She touched down near my pelvis and she said that the baby's head is lodged in there. So she's ready to come at any time. Um, so I didn't feel like I needed to get checked and see if I'm dilated or anything. And by next week, because this is my second last appointment until my due date, which is December 12th. Today is the 2nd. Um... By my next appointment, which is next Wednesday, if I don't go into labor, because she really thinks I will, um, then I'll probably ask her to do the membrane sweep, because it's a way of naturally inducing yourself without medication and everything, and it's just basically like her sticking her fingers up in there and like... Rubbing them or something? Um, something. loosening like my cervix, so hopefully like it induces like it brings on labor within like a week or whatever and yeah so I've been having a lot of pain in my pelvic area it's really hard to like get around and walk now so I figured like her head would be really low which is what she said so hopefully I do go into labor soon um, she did say that she's working this weekend at the hospital she's on call so she said if you go into labor I'll be there and so I'm crossing my fingers it happens yeah, her heartbeat was 145 beats per minute today um, it usually fluctuates between like 130 and 150 yeah, yeah. Um, it just depends on like how much baby movement is going on which she does move a lot so um that's probably why i was so high we did do my last photo shoot for being pregnant um i we did it when like two days ago like two days ago so the, the pictures are on my instagram i just posted them um you guys can go down in the bottom in the description we're gonna let and leave the uh instagram link so you can go and follow her and me and go see my pregnancy pictures so um they were just like down right outside my house um just to get them done because i literally like i did not feel like getting ready i don't feel like getting ready like ever anymore i just literally um get up i wash my face and that's it like I just worry about keeping clean like I don't do my makeup anymore and nothing like that so that one day I got ready and I was like I need to take pictures of like being full term like having a full belly like fully grown so yeah but we are gonna take better pictures hopefully on the weekend if I don't go into labor by then um, we're gonna go to the park so yeah, my mom wanted me to get nicer ones because <laughs> standing right outside my house was kind of boring. So she wanted them to be like in the park, maybe like near some Christmas lights More or something. Some, something. Yeah, she wanted them to look nicer. So plus, there's a lot of like houses outside too. You can take some at night, or like there's a lot of lights. Cause yeah. of Christmas, Christmas lights. There's yeah. like one by a hospital that have a lot of lights. And it's actually very sick. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't feel like 
going anywhere and doing anything that day. It was snowing and it was cold and I was wearing a dress, like a knit dress, but I didn't have anything on my legs so I was cold and I just wanted the pictures to just get them done and get them out of the way. Because I do want to have pictures so I don't regret not taking pictures but at the same time like I don't care if they're professional or not. We did get more SD cards so we are definitely going to be doing a labor and delivery vlog. William is going to be on that. I'm going to be on his ask to be on that because I'm obviously not going to be holding a camera the entire time talking but he can have the camera going. He can be filming me and what I'm going through. Hopefully it's a fast labor. My doctor did say that since I'm so young, like it could go really fast, like labor could go fast because people who are older tend to have a longer labor. Um, and since she's already lodged into my pelvis, she's already pushing on my cervix. So hopefully when if my water breaks, hopefully my water breaks, and then hopefully like labor really progresses quickly for me. Um, I hope I can do it naturally and not have an epidural and not have to get induced medically with all these medications, but because I don't want to be in more pain than I would be if I was just natural. So, um... I'm really praying for that, but if something else happens to go down, then that's totally fine too. I'm open to having a C-section. I'm open and I'm open to um, anything that has to be done to get her out safely and keep me safe as well. So yeah. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, please leave us a comment down below, give us a like if you liked the video, and we'll see you next time.